I'm actually sick and tired of these press conferences. I'm sick and tired of even the vigils. Perhaps Brooklyn Councilman Jamani Williams summed it up perfectly when describing his attendance at yet another candlelight vigil following yet another senseless act of gun violence. What are we actually doing for Chanel Mercurius and her family and people like her to prevent this from happening? On the federal, on the state, on the city level, we get condolences, we get we're sorry, but at this point, that's hollow. Police spent a second day looking for the unidentified male who shot 16-year-old Shamel Mercurius as she babysat her three-year-old cousin inside the family's East Flatbush apartment. The shooter is still on the loose. Uh, it's a lot of pain. It's a lot of pain. It's no! For Shamel's father, this was all just too much to take. His daughter murdered in cold blood. And now, on this chilly evening, there is a lingering uneasiness in this neighborhood among parents and their children. I saw her the other day, and like, I should have said hi because you don't know when they're going to be gone. Doing my day to day activity is like I'm not the norm because I keep seeing that child. Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, who helped lead the vigil, drove home the dual purpose of this gathering to honor Shamel Mercurius and to send a message to the young men for whom gun violence is sadly an afterthought. We share their pain and they have to go on long after the cameras are no longer here. They have to deal with the real pain of a 16-year-old member of their family was taken from them in a household where a three-year-old child knew what happened. Nothing can be so further from normality than what took place here. I spent this evening speaking with Shamel's relatives. They say that she lived here with her aunt. Her father lived in the Bronx, moved there last year. Her mother in the native Guyana, and the family had to make that call, that heartbreaking call to deliver the news. The purpose again of this news conference, urging the shooter to turn himself in.